zero-handed tight end. Always staying busy, he's your league leader in receiving yards. It's the Eagles and the Patriots, and it kicks off next on Madden NFL 25. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Eagles team as they interplay here. They've been as hot as anyone. The win last week makes it 9 out of 10. The results are hard to argue. If there's a team better suited for the postseason right now, I don't know who they are. On the other side of the field for the visiting Patriots, their long winning streak finally came to an end last week. A disappointing game for them, but still a heck of a run. Indeed it was. What a great job by them putting together a streak. Now we'll see how they rebound after a defeat. Get strapped in. It's just about time to get the party started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. So now the Patriots getting set to take over on offense. And they will be led out by a man in his sophomore campaign as the quarterback. And no excitement. Unless, he, unless you're on the defensive team of last week, in his numbers. Because the only excitement he really generated was the one interception he threw. Yeah, no touchdown pass. Yeah, and his team wasn't real thrilled about that. And they lost the game. So, I know this week has been tough on him because he's been working hard. Fundamentals, footwork, finding the right targets. The bottom line, how did they get a win? Well, the numbers for Pierce last week. 19 carries and even 60 yards and a touchdown. So he scored his eighth touchdown on the ground last week. And most guys I know, they want to get into round numbers. So, you know, 10 is really the goal. And this is one sport where being selfish and scoring touchdowns. And oh, right away, he lost the football. Wow. That ball gets knocked free. But a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks them up. And avoids the turnover. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Now this defense for the Eagles, they were very good in the win over Dallas a week ago. And what I saw on film was a nearly unstoppable pass rush. Five sacks last week. Plenty of hurries given up. So now what do you do on offense? You just max protect, keep everyone in and run the ball, or maybe just one or two receiver routes in order to try and keep your quarterback upright. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Looking to throw, May. That's complete. It's the rookie from USC. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Second down and a little more than a yard here. They'll throw with May. Eagle pressure, too much this time. Down he goes. Nolan Smith brings him down on the pass rush. A week ago, they dominated in the trenches. They got in the backfield for five sacks. Setting the tone there, one of the opening drive. And it sets the tone for the opposing team, doesn't it? Remember when you were a kid and you went to the theater and saw that horror movie that stuck with you for a while and you were a little bit jumpy? Well, if you saw five sacks the previous week and you're the quarterback, he might be a little jumpy as well. Might throw off his timing. Yeah, it'd be jumpy, but uh, sorry. Bob and Linda wouldn't let me see a PG movie until I was 17. Well, that's just good parenting. They'll run it. This is Ramondre Stevenson. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. To throw, it's May. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. You look at this Eagle defense. Into this game, they're ranked number 22 in the NFL against the pass charts. And I think you're going to see some changes in the offseason, whether it's through the draft, free agency, maybe even both. They definitely need some help in the secondary. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down, as that was not an easy one to hold on to. 
So on fourth down, here's Bryce Berringer on to punt for the Patriots. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. And they will be let out by the youngster, the rookie, their QB. And if you go by the numbers, he's had a Pro Bowl type season. And maybe that's even selling him a little bit short. He's the NFL leader in touchdown passes to this point in the year. And with the end of the season not too far away, he's got his guys playing at a very high level. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line. Second and a yard. This will be caught once again by Brown. And A.J. going to pick up an Eagles first down as he'll get this up past the 35-yard line. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Second and ten. Now back to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A couple of first downs on the drive already. As they'll go from the 47 now on first down. He'll look to throw. Man open left side is Brown. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 41. First and 10 at the 41 yard line. They're going to look to throw. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. They'll look to throw. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. It'll be a gain of five. And that'll make it third and 13. And they'll use him out in the backfield and sometimes quite a bit. They're just trying to get him touches any way they can. Four catches a week ago. There's another one right there. And a good job on the tackle there as they get him down shy of the first on the 35-yard stripe. No score after one on EA Sports. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a fourth down coming up. The kick by Elliott is good, and the Eagles, they take a 3-0 lead. It's a pretty good opening drive. That'll make the home fans somewhat happy. They wanted six, but they got three in the early lead. And they should be happy. The guys look good getting down the field. That's got to give them a little bit of hope. The good things are in store here today, Paul. And makes it across the 20 as his guys were a set up shop at the 23 yard line. The Patriots offense and their quarterback coming out for their second drive. And he's been very impactful when using his legs this year, both when the pocket breaks down and by design. You notice his name sits near the top when looking at the league leaders in rushing yards by a quarterback. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Here's second and ten. Head off left side, Pierce. A little juke. And he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. It'll be a Patriot first down on a pickup of 16. They had three tight ends in on that set, and they were really good at blocking for their running back. And give them a lot of credit because in football nowadays, tight ends coming out of college often don't block very often. 
These guys have really developed into superior blockers, and that's why they use them in this formation so often. Well, he leads the NFL in interceptions and really added to that total. Got his hand on it, couldn't quite corral it. It's been a Pro Bowl-type season for him, and the term ball hawk really comes into play, doesn't it? Yeah, I like that one a lot because teams want to avoid that type of a player, but sometimes you just can't. He just knows where the ball is. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches have told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack, and it's going to lead him to fourth down. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. Here's Bryce Barringer now. This is brought in at the 21. Breaks through the contact. A solid punt, but also a nice return there of 13 yards. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. So back onto the field here come the Eagles for their second drive. And it's only November, but the playoffs, we know how it works. They'll be here before you know it. If it ended today, they would be the number one seed. And that's a great spot to be in, but I love the phrase, if it ended today. And I guarantee you, that's what they've discussed in their locker room, in their meeting rooms. Yeah, we know where we'd be if it ended today, but we also know it's not ending today. Right. So they've got to continue to play the type of ball that put them in the spot where they're number one in their conference. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. You call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. No gain on the play. Brings up second and 10 at their 49 yard line. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. Now third down and seven. That's a game of three. It's third and seven. Back to throw here. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots, 37. 11 yards for number 11. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. They'll drop the throw. This short throw caught by Goddard, shedding through the defense. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender, but the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. And he'll run on the inside handoff. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped him, bringing up fourth down. So on comes the Eagle kicker, Jake Elliott, on fourth down. He made his first, this from 47 yards out. The kick by Elliott is good, and they're able to double their lead in this first half. It's six to nothing. So scores on their first two possessions, but six nothing, so field goals probably not what they were hoping for. Yeah, you're exactly right about that. Not what they were hoping for, but they should be happy that they have points on the board. It almost feels like that old slow and steady wins the race, doesn't it? In this case, though, they want to be slow and steady now, but get explosive later and put the points up on the board. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. And they have the game here followed by the open date on the calendar next weekend. And Charles, this is a crew that you have to think really is relishing the opportunity to be on the couch for a few days. Yeah, they certainly are, but let's face it, partner. They can't get caught looking ahead to that couch time 
while they're playing this one. They've got to take care of business first. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Well, part of why that play works is because the defense has to freeze because they don't know whether he's going to hand it off or keep it himself. And this time, how about that sleight of hand there? Gives it to his wide out. And that indecision defensively, boy, it hurt him in a big way. Throwing here is May. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Henry. They're following the play now. They're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Third and eight. Here's May. Setting up a screen for Stevenson. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Here's Bryce Behringer on now to punt. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And this will be taken at the 13. It'll go as a 42, make it a 43-yard punt. Six on the return. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well, so that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. Now a second and ten. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Well, they need two. Here's third down. He'll look to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Down the sideline he goes. And he's going to be shoved out, but not before he gets this down to the 20-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 54 yards. Well, he looked his way quite a bit in this first half, and with good reason. You can see it there. He is such a handful defensively, just too hard to keep him under wraps. He delivers a big play here for this offense. So the field flips here as they'll go to work at the 20 now on first and 10. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14, before he's out of bounds. This second and four. They'll look to throw again. And that is caught, but the bank judge right there to say incomplete. A third field goal of the first half, not what they're looking for as they come up on third down. Again, he'll drop to throw. This will be caught by Brown. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. So the completion good for just three. And it'll be fourth down. Back to throw again. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And the Eagles are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. A kicker fest so far. All points via field goals. They're hoping to change that right here. They'll try to run this one in. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. A great play there with his fourth rushing touchdown of the year. And the Eagles will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play and actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on the stat sheet, but you and I both know, and he knows as well, 
His teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. The Eagle kick team out there now as they run up and send this one away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Patriots with the football here late in this first half. They're certainly in need of some kind of points here before the end of the half. A field goal or something being shut out right now. They could really use some momentum before they head into halftime. And it's knocked away and incomplete. I tell you, Brandon, this defensive player with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. To the air, May. Caught here by Bell. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Right back to Bell, and it's caught once again. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. This will be fielded at the 17. Call it a 48-yard punt. Give them nine, though, on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. And the Eagles going to get one final possession in this first half. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Now a fake on the jet sweep, and they'll instead run up the middle. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And that one too wide and incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. So we've come to halftime here in Philly with the Eagles on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. We're starting to get near the home stretch of this NFL season. It's week 13, so let's get an update on what's going on. We'll start over in Texas at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. And it's the Raiders who have the lead in the second quarter. Devontae Adams with a touchdown reception from Gardner Minshew. From there, we get up to the Rocky Mountains to check on the Broncos at home in Denver. And they were losers in that one to the visiting L.A. Chargers. Justin Herbert, excellent in the victory, as it's one that pushes his guys two games above 500. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you, and that one all tied. This has certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle, but we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side can play mistake-free football the rest of the way. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Eagles offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he's building his case for MVP consideration with each passing week. He's the NFL leader in touchdown passes as we move into the back half of the season. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Hey, Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, 
They didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it, but I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. And he'll get this up to about the 40. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Second and five. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Rookie to rookie on the hookup there, and it's a first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode Really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Matthew Judon in there to take him down. But you could almost see his eyes light up defensively. I mean, as a linebacker, that's about as quick as you can get to a quarterback. So what did your third grade teacher teach you about straight lines, right? As soon as you have those, you take full advantage of them. He found a gap in the offensive line, got to the quarterback, and put him on the deck. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 30. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll set up to throw. This short throw caught by Goddard. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. So from the 25, this is second and five. Looking to throw. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 18 yards that time to push him up first and goal. Catch number 100 for his career right there, and it's good enough to keep the chains moving. They'll set up a throw. Toward the pylon, caught. Touchdown! A great effort there. Hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Eagles take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. And he continues to be a focal point of this offense. That's now 10 touchdown catches for him on the year. Call from Nick Sirianni. Let's go for two here, he says. They'll look to throw. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And that bumps their lead up even further. And around the goal line, especially on two-point tries, sometimes the QB's best friend is that big target, the tight end. I love how you described it because you know he's going to have some length and some catch radius as well as a big body to keep people away from the football. The Eagle kick team out there now as they run up and send this one away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Another go around now for the Patriot offense. And they have had their problems moving the ball through the air as we take you through some of the action from earlier. This secondary has played about as well as you can. Many times they've left this quarterback with nowhere to go with the football. The Pats at the line ready to go. They'll throw with May. Can't get away, and he's taken down. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. Oh, you can just see it in their body language. They're starting to see victory on the horizon now, and if it comes to fruition, they got to give a game ball to the front seven. Defensive line has taken charge and controlled this game. Face a challenge of stopping this opposing offense, and they've done so with ease. Excellent work that time to get free and for his exploits. He's going to be left with just a third and three. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down.
to throw. It's May. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. They dial up the corner blitz that time, and it delivers to the tune of a nine-yard loss. I think we've seen this before. Someone's down three scores. That situation there is just going to add to their growing frustrations, don't you think? Yeah, a bad number three right now. Three-score game, third quarter, three and out. Not what they wanted, and you can tell on the sideline those faces are getting a little bit longer as this one goes. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Fielded at about the 28. It's a net of 40 there. A punt of 48 and a return of eight. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They have picked up right where they left off in half number one, just looking really dominant, extending this lead. And it's fun to see when teams actually do that because so many times you go into the half after playing well, and you kind of relax a little bit. Huh? We've got this. We can kind of punch the button whenever we get good and ready. But for a team to keep the intensity and keep the execution up and come back after the half and play so well, that's actually really, really nice to see. And a pedal to the metal. That's what we're seeing right now. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw over the middle, and it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up, not that time. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential, but when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, He's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. This short throw caught by Goddard. And he's going to come up a few yards short of the first. They get him to the ground at the 37. They'll give him four yards there. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Excellent job there defensively. Gave up the underneath to the tight end on third down. And they made sure that they did their job. Got him on the ground and prevented him picking up a first down. The kick by Elliott is good, and the route is on. It's 24 to nothing. So little by little, the better of these two sides starting to become more and more apparent. Three points is not a knockout blow in the third quarter, but when the other guys haven't shown they can do anything, they don't have any points, this is looking pretty good. Maybe not a knockout blow, but a good stiff jab, that's for sure. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. Ball on the 36 now. Here's second down and five. We're going to throw May. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. With a quick slant, good for eight and a first. And eight yard pickup. And the They'll look to throw here. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Jalen Carter able to record his fifth sack of the season. Guys with his talent in the pocket aren't supposed to be getting hit like this, and you know an intense conversation with the offensive line is going to occur after this one. Might not be from him, but the offensive line coach will have plenty to say about this game. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. He'll drop to throw. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. 
We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down, and the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. The Eagles offense and their big play wide out getting ready to get back to work. And as we play here in the month of November, he's putting together a campaign to remember the NFL's leader amongst wideouts in touchdown receptions. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Second and 10 at the Patriots 36 yard line. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Got a man over the middle and it's complete. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Those are the kinds of plays right there that show you why he's the number three man in the NFL in terms of receiving yards. Also tells you there's a full combination of what he's got going in his game. You name it, from route running to catching the football, that's why he's able to produce those types of numbers. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. And he comes back with one complete. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. The offense on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This will be third and five. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. Touchdown, Eagles. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Eagles add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. And that touchdown grab has officially solidified his historic season as record-breaking. He now has the new NFL standard for the most receiving touchdowns in a single season. Congratulations. Elliott Good with a PAT. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. The Eagle kick team out there now as they run up and send this one away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. New England trying to get a place on offense. And just looking ahead, it would appear that that bye week is coming at the right time. They'll have two weeks to chew on this one, though probably not one that they want to chew on. A poor performance from start to finish. A well-executed 22-yard game. Throwing here is May. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Jalen Carter picks up his second sack of the afternoon. But one thing I do know, these guys on defense, they don't want this game to end. They're winning by multiple touchdowns. They shut down the opposing quarterback in a big way, and they're still picking up sacks as we approach the end of this one. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. And the Eagles with a dime look. Six DBs on third down. Here's May. He's going to float this one deep right side. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. We've seen that the deep ball has been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. Fourth down. Here's May. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And that will force a turnover on downs. 
Well, they've clearly made a conscious decision here to be more aggressive in the late stages of this game here in the second half. And I get it. In this situation, you know, if you want to be aggressive out near midfield, you feel good about your defense maybe, or just, hey, I thought I had a proper play call. But how about the guys that just stopped them? How good do they feel right now? All right, hey, you want to go for it here? We shut you down. They're over on the bench right now feeling great. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll get it inside the 35. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where there'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from walking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. And he's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. This now a third and four. He'll look to throw. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. Well, there's absolutely been no stopping this offense today. They already have the big lead, obviously. Here in the fourth quarter, they could coast to the end, but right now they're not passing up any chances to put up some garbage time yardage. And, partner, why would they? Because... Who knows the next time you'll be playing as well as you have today. When you're in that zone, you go ahead and take full advantage of it. You don't worry about your opponent. You just worry about what you're doing. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Sometimes you get a first to goal and you're back near the seven, eight, nine yard line and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need. So maybe we can have two or three shots and going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. Elliott on for the extra point. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. A drive there of just four plays. And it was finished off with a 10-yard touchdown scamper. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And they, unfortunately, are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight defeat. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Gets the dump off to Pierce. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. 22 yards there, a first down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, and after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. And the Patriots first down. From the gun, it's May. Checking this down to Stevenson. Not able to go anywhere that time. Second down. That's a nice job defensively to make sure everyone was accounted for because ordinarily, you pick up the guys downfield and sometimes you forget about the running back. In this case, they did not and dropped him for no gain. Toward the sideline, intercepted. Buda Baker with a pick. And the Eagles are going to have it here just past the 25. So the ball changing hands on the interception, but meanwhile here, we do have an injury on the play. Yeah. 
They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Charles, when you look at the stat sheet, you realize that both sides of the ball were so dominant in this game. And on offense, not only did they score it, but they did it through the air as well as on the ground. Everything was working. And you know that the guys who scored the touchdowns, who contributed that way to throw them or ran them, they're going to find our cameras have a big grin for them. But I hope our cameras find that offensive line. How versatile were they? Move the ball on the ground, move people so they could run it, and then protected their passer so they could throw it. So for the Eagles, they continue to keep pace for that first round bye as they move to 11-1. And, and they will hit the road next week to take on the Minnesota Vikings. Meanwhile, for New England, any slim hopes they had at a playoff.